Welcome to the UC San Diego Shiley Marcos Alzheimer's Disease Research Center Brain Blast series. My name is James Brewer, and I'm the director of the UC San Diego Department of Neurosciences and the Shiley Marcos Alzheimer's Disease Research Center. I'm a professor of neurology, a clinical neurologist, and a brain imaging researcher. I'm pleased to present to you our virtual Brain Blast series. Each of the talks included in the series have been created by Shiley Marcos ADRC colleagues with expertise in brain aging research that focuses on prevention, detection, diagnosis, and treatment of Alzheimer's disease and related dementias. Each of the experts featured in the series studies a unique aspect of brain aging and has developed a brief overview of their current research to highlight the state-of-the-art work that's going on here at UCSD and our center. We hope you'll take advantage of this free resource to learn more about the advances in brain aging, the importance of research, and the multitude of opportunities to get involved and participate in research studies. I'm Neil Swerdlow. I'm a distinguished professor of psychiatry at UCSD. And I'm gonna tell you about biomarker predictors of memantine sensitivity in patients with Alzheimer's disease. A short title would be the memantine study, and that's the name of the study that we're doing right now. So memantine is a medication it's also marketed under the name Namenda. It's approved by the FDA for treatment of Alzheimer's disease. It's generally very well tolerated and it can be used in combination with other medications for Alzheimer's disease. So it's already approved and it's well tolerated. The problem is that memantine only helps some people with Alzheimer's disease, but not others. And there's no way to know in advance who will or who won't benefit from memantine. In this study, we're looking for a biomarker, a signal to tell us who will or won't benefit from memantine. Recently, we've been able to identify some signals in the brain that tell us that memantine has reached parts of the brain and is working. We're now testing whether these brain signals can serve as biomarkers to help us know in advance who will or will not benefit from memantine. And that's the purpose of this study. Here are some results from a study in 2007 showing that people with Alzheimer's disease who take memantine show some improvement, while those taking a blank or a placebo pill show worsening of symptoms. And this is over a 24 week period. So we already know and have known for some time that people with Alzheimer's disease who take memantine will show benefits whereas those who take a placebo pill will not. But even among the group that took memantine, there were differences in sensitivity. Some people got a lot better, some people got a little better, and some people didn't get better or even got worse. So why is it important to find a biomarker for memantine sensitivity? Without a biomarker, one person might be sensitive to memantine, another person not, and we can't tell by looking at them who is or who isn't sensitive. In the study of how of memantine effects, if we give memantine to everybody, only some people will get benefit. Most people may not, and there's no way to know ahead of time who will or won't benefit. With a biomarker, we can identify a person who is memantine sensitive and a person who isn't by doing a laboratory test. Then we screen ahead of time who is showing that biomarker for sensitivity and only give sensitive people memantine. In that type of a study, most people will benefit from memantine. So in the memantine study that we're doing, there are three phases. The first involves a screening day, which takes about five hours and involves tests of your memory and a physical examination. The second part of the study involves testing for those biomarkers. These are brain signals that we detect through a technique called EEG. This takes two full days spread apart by about a week. During those days, on one day you'll take a fake pill, 
a placebo. And on another day, you'll take a real pill of memantine, 20 milligrams. After that, we'll do tests that measure brain activity using EEG. This involves wearing a cap that has sensors on it. Or EMG, which involves putting plastic electrodes on your cheek here to measure your eye blink response. And this is how we measure the memantine signals. After we're done with those two test days, we enter the treatment phase of the study. In the treatment phase, everyone gets memantine for 24 weeks at the same dose that's normally used to treat Alzheimer's disease, and that's 10 milligrams twice a day. So everybody in this study gets a full therapeutic trial with memantine. There's no placebo treatments. Participants then complete memory tests and get a brief physical exam 8, 16, and 24 weeks later. If memantine seems helpful to you, you can continue using memantine after the study ends, prescribed by your own doctor. At the end of this study, we'll know which of our participants got a little better, a lot better, or not better, better at all from memantine. And we'll know that by testing your memory over the course of the 24 weeks of treatment. Then we'll look back at the test results from the two laboratory test days and determine which, if any, of those results, those brain signals, accurately predicted the clinical response to memantine. And if we can find one of those signals that predicted those responses, we'll have a biomarker. We need volunteers for this study. It involves two full days of laboratory testing and then 24 weeks of treatment with the active treatment of memantine. Thanks very much. We hope you've enjoyed this presentation from our UC San Diego Shiley Marcos Alzheimer's Disease Research Center Virtual Brain Blast series. Please look for other presentations in this series and share them with your communities. We hope that you'll also consider participating with, in brain research studies. We always have new opportunities for participation and are actively seeking individuals 65 and older without memory disorders, as well as those with a diagnosis of mild cognitive impairment or Alzheimer's disease and related dementias, such as frontotemporal dementia, Lewy body dementia, and Parkinson's dementia, as well as others. We're also proud to have a bilingual, bicultural team who conducts studies visits in Spanish. Your participation can make a real difference for future generations. Please click on the description below to complete the very brief survey about the presentation you just viewed. And for those who are interested and who live in San Diego, we'll be happy to contact you. Simply provide your contact information on the secure survey. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.